bucks just rise we're back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and holly favorite and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel just love you and welcome into uh my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you for taking the time out for yourself um there's so many uh blessings that are coming towards us and signs synchronicities and also vision so i'm glad that you're you know you're diving deep in it embracing all the things that you know universe is sending you so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been um watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if um if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and hit you towards positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos are giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that needs spiritual guidance or um, a confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share on while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, my um, meditation music I'm using in the background is called Positive Vibe 528 Hertz Miracle Music Healing and uh enhance positive energy ancient frequency music and i'll post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey Oka, signs to look for when darkness tries to intervene or block you on your blessings you know what when we're heading towards that way you know we will be uh tested when you least expect it um, a lot of times, you know, you can see them coming and a lot of times, you know, catch you off by surprise. But the things you really need to look for when you know you're when you really want to know if darkness is like, you know, trying to intervene on that. It will allow you to, you know, it will test you with your ego. It will put shadows of doubts in your head. <laughs> OK, it could be uh, anything like, you know, telling you, oh, you know, it's, how do you know, you know, these blessings are coming, especially if you know you're really working hard to manage manifest things in your life that you always wanted and it's going to make your life easier or you know being able like if you say you want to start your own business out or whatever uh darkness will sit up here and throw a monkey wrench in your whole program you know you could be working you know towards a certain thing saving money at a certain time um ooh, excuse me i'm sorry y'all um let me see what else they'll go through they'll be trying to sit up here uh and like i said throwing doubt into your mind you're, you're trying to sit up here and work hard for things that you truly know that you're trying to manifest towards your life to be able to make a better life for yourself as well being able to you know do a lot more things for your family as well as like vacationing and stuff like that you already know these things are going to bring by many blessings so when you're working hard for that it will allow your ego just to run run crazy with you. It will have you thinking about things because they already know if you remain positive uh, towards the things you're manifesting. And you know the more you add towards that, the more positive you are, the quicker they'll manifest. So it's just like they will have things that will pop up in your mind. It is so irrelevant to you right now, but it'll put you in a certain emotion. It'll put you in a dark mood on something that, you know, it, it could be something somebody said or a fragrance or something or you could be bypassing somebody or whatever and they'll bring on that mood so they know that's going to push you back a little bit further they know that if there are certain things that will come about well how you're not staying focused on things you you know you stay focused on irrelevant things that'll pop up in your life that you really need to truly separate yourself from and it's just like i've gone through that you know um being able to you know you can block your blessings just by because you're you're focusing on the things that you know it doesn't even matter to you right now it should even matter to you you have to be able to stay focused on the things that you work truly hard working for you know being able to you know they they will allow you to be able to sit up here and try to focus on somebody else's journey you know where other people are doing things that you know um that you already want to do with your life so it'll have you feeling some type of way like you know i want to be just like them and you know get upset about certain things but you never know 
and always try to look at things like that you know even though I, I try to bless and praise people that go through that because it's like when you do that you're praising yourself you know you don't block your blessings because a lot of times you can get jealous off of what somebody else is doing and you can end up blocking your blessings as well for doing that because it's like they always say it's good when you see people that come towards you you know that's echoing out things that's coming towards you the things that you want to like don't allow you to see somebody else going through it so that means you're supposed to praise them just like you're praising yourself like you that was your blessing that you know you see them receive it's like you receive for yourself because that means you're still opening yourself up for better possibilities you already know you can't never compare your journey towards anybody else you can't con you know compare your goals towards somebody else because you don't know what they had to go through how long how much longer they were waiting they probably had to wait like three or four years and yours could be right around the corner and you only been working on it for six months so you can't really look at people's you know how people had to go through certain things in your life because you never know what sacrifices they had to make um when you um you're dealing with somebody that you shouldn't deal with you know I've, i learned that you know it's just the people you hang around it could be a different mindset you know when darkness um when darkness don't want you to you know they will try to block your blessings is when they start bringing people from your past that you know good and well hell you need to leave alone you know it was just like with certain things in my life you know i would be triggered by you know it would be so frustrating when I got stressed out. I wanted to always pull out a cigarette or, you know, have marijuana. Anytime I got stressed out, that was my coping mechanism. And it was just like I self sabotaged myself almost every time like that. But then ego will allow you to say, oh, well, if you lose that, you know, you notice they still haven't gave you what you wanted, but you have to look at it this way. You, it's opening up another stage of you getting towards your blessings. So it's just like, you know, if God and them ask you to put certain things down that you know it's not going to be healthy for you because it's like, you know, marijuana is not a gateway. It is a gateway drug, but it's not, they don't, they shouldn't consider it a drug because it's, you know, it's a medication for certain things that ailments that other people have. But you won't be able to think properly. You know, it's just like with me, I used to get towards my higher self that way, you know, no pun intended. But it's it was just like I felt that was my only way of leading towards my higher self but now it's like I can be able to you know just being able to be able to connect with that without me having to smoke weed to get to it or you know there'll be people self-doubt that you know you allow somebody else to tell you something and making your decisions based on how somebody else feels you should never do that you know because it's just like I always tell people you know never base your decisions off of what people say because they're the, you're not going to have to be able to handle the repercussions you are you have to be able to go through all those different things so you should be able to focus on what you feel comfortable with what you know where is it guiding you towards don't ever allow somebody's negativity to sit up here and crash your <laughs> your journey on where you're trying to go to back yourself because like i tell a lot of people it's because people don't believe in their dreams they all sit up here and try to throw a monkey wrench in yours because they feel like oh since they failed at it you won't be able to get it either you never know if they didn't put enough initiative to it you know of course it's not going to work but don't allow somebody else's negative frame of mind you know get into that point where it messes you up for what you're trying to do for yourself so it's just like you know when you're heading towards something you have to be able to believe in yourself believe in the faith that okay i'm gonna keep my mind set on what i need to stay focused on don't worry about how people you know uh, how other people are doing this just because it didn't work for them doesn't mean it's going to work for you and that might not have been something that they were being guided to do somewhere else you know god probably led them to a different path they wanted them to do so that would be another way a uh, sign that darkness is trying to keep them from certain from certain goals in your life you know being attached to things that you know they can steer you off to where you need to be you know, you have to be able to main focus on that and don't allow nobody to shake your boat. You know, a lot of people will do that when they, you know, they see that your your blessings will bring about a lot of things in your life that, you know, can really better you in a whole different way. So a lot of people will throw that into your, your, your mix for you not to be able to do that, for you to be able to not understand those things that's going on in your life. And those are the things you really need to be able to be mindful about. You know, it, it's just like, it's a scary situation for you to be able to go down certain things and you know you want this, but you have to understand anything that you are working hard for, it will never be easy. You know, it, it's just like, I, when I look at my situation, I get frustrated at times, yes, I truly do. There are certain things that go away that I really feel like it's not fair, but you know, things had to go the way they had to go because it allowed me to not 
give up on what I'm trying to do, you know, um, being able to, you know, get my blessings and not allow, you know, not allow somebody to sit up here and, you know, try to coerce me into doing something else totally different. A lot of people always told me that I shouldn't sit up here and put my life's journey on YouTube. It's like, it's not everybody's business. I said, you know, certain things, yeah, you're right. Certain things, not everybody's business, you know, but there's reason for me to do that. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, as long as you know, that's the only thing. They never really wanted me to go out there and say anything, but that wasn't their journey for them to sit up here and tell me not to do. You know, people didn't want me, you know, I guess they were just like, oh, she's going to be, uh, you know, people going to be paying more attention to her and this and this and that. And she's going to become relevant or whatever. I'm going to be relevant towards myself, regardless of what anybody else thinks anyway you know um it's like how you validate yourself you don't need um approval from somebody else you know so you have to keep working hard and doing what you need to do for yourself you know um listening to people's you know doubt about how they feel about your situation you know don't allow that to you know stop you from doing what you need to do being able to have that faith within yourself you know people will outfit you people will doubt you when you're, you know, you're working hard on those things, you know, you have to understand that the universe wants to see how bad you want it. So you're going to have to do those failed attempts sometimes, but that means you have to keep going. You know, things that we work hard for means that it was going to have a long-term benefit for us down in the future. So you have to be able to pay attention to those things because that's what you're going to have to go through when you, um, when you have, uh, you know when you're going towards things that you truly want in your life so those are the things you have to be able to stay you know pay attention to when you're heading towards things in your life you know like i said people will doubt you people won't believe in you they won't have that faith in you but there will also be people there to help support you you know your spirit guides are always there you know when you need the signs trust and believe they will be around the corner some kind of way you know present to you in, in some form of fashion so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Let me give a post notification shout out to um, Cosmic Ray. Much love to you. Um, and I hope all is well. Um, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Share. You know, Hit that bell and subscribe if you haven't already. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and make sure you send out love and light uh somebody you never know your words can really take somebody a long way and i'll see you in my next video much love peace